people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen in today's video we are going to analyze Bitcoin and see where the Bitcoin prices are heading we'll uh, I'll try to label the um, the wave movement as well using Elliot Wave Analysis before we head on to our Elliot Wave Analysis of Bitcoin if you are uh, looking for my opinion my analysis on uh, gold silver British pound euro and Canadian dollar uh, you can get all of that available for a very small price of $29 per month and that is actually a weekly forecast you will be provided with and it is available on patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green if you guys are interested in it, in it if you guys have seen my previous work in it uh, and then you want to see uh, updates you can uh, see that I have already posted the uh, uh, the forecast which was posted a couple, couple of days ago which is good enough for the whole week. So let's have a look at uh, Bitcoin. First of all, uh, in my last, uh, in my one of my last analysis I was indicating that uh, we were looking for the prices to go down and then uh, I am still of a point of view that we are actually looking to go uh, down in Bitcoin. Let me show you the daily time frame and then uh, I'll uh, see what things that we are looking for. There's a there's a huge pro possibility, there is a possibility and I'm still exploring that possibility is that the whole uh, the whole larger cycle level trend has already, the bullish trend has already been over and, and right now we probably are at the beginning of the large time, uh, the cycle degree uh, bearish uh, market not a small one but a large one uh, what would that mean is that we'll uh, try to explore that and I'm still exploring that regardless whether the bear market has started or not started uh, of a cycle degree we are seeing that the price action is uh, actually indicating that we are going to see the prices going down as well so regardless whether that has started or not I will comment uh, on it more in my previous analysis I uh, did this forecast and I was looking for the uh, prices to fall down we did a very accurate forecast on uh, how the prices were to go down prices were ri trading right over here in this range let me increase the size a little so you can uh, so I remember that very well prices were trading in this range and I were able to forecast the drop and it did happen as we started uh, as we thought so right now what's happening uh, I'm considering this whole drop as wave W right from the top and as you guys can see we were considering this as wave X whether whether wave X is complete here or not we are uh, we still have to decide because there is a possibility that the prices will fall down right over here find a support and create another swing upward there is a possibility for now we can definitely see that a B and C uh, this is a flat correction in which we can see a clear a movement and a B is a uh, double three movement or a flat correction and then C is a five wave price action you guys can see wave one two three four and five so this is a clear indication that we are actually this price movement or the corrective price movement that actually give us one thing and that you are going down, down downwards on a couple of hours uh, let's see if you can see the four hourly time frame let me see that my I have to adjust this uh, settings because it keeps screwing every time okay this is much better so for now I'm considering this whole drop as wave A and this whole drop upward as wave B and right now we are I believe we are starting one two either whether two is complete or not we are going to head down this is what I'm looking right now one two three four and five and then probably I'm expecting the prices to create double bottom so let's have a let's have quickly a label this okay yeah this is right over here we can consider this as wave A this as B oh this is all messed up give me a moment and then you'll correct it okay so our correction starts right from over here we can consider this as wave A and then we can consider this whole price movement as wave B and then we can actually come downward and uh, we can consider this whole price movement as wave C right over here in this region Okay, that means the price is expected to retest the previous bottom, and this will give us an indication that we are heading downward. In my previous analysis, although I stated that we can actually go down to around ten thousand uh, dollars, 
now things are there is quite a possibility that prices will fall we'll find a retest of this level and then prices will go up so we'll have to keep a very close eye in this region but for now the main account and the alternate account they're both indicating that the prices are heading downward uh, what I'm thinking in long term whether prices go downward from or right over here or not we need to form some uh, distribution pattern all right if we have started the long-term bearish market then we have to start we need to have the distribution pattern in this range unless I go back to the four uh, daily chart again okay I think I messed up setting somewhere right over here okay so what I'm thinking right now either we either price go right from over here or not if the prices go right from over here we can consider this as wave 1 and then wave 2 and another uh, same degree wave 1 and then we'll have to have some distribution pattern right over here that is right over here so if the prices do not fall below this one then we will have something like W X and Y and probably some more sideways price action so right now I'm expecting majorly that the price is expected to stay in, the, in this range creating a top somewhere around 54, 55,000 and bottom somewhere around 29,000. If prices do come below then we've probably seen another flat correction in this region as well. This is the forecast for Bitcoin and uh, wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.